Okay, this is chapter 16, state and local government video lecture. Um, today we are going to talk about uh, basically did that basically look at the state and local governments and how the decisions made at the state and local governments level affect our lives as is more directly than than the federal government does for us on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the quality of our neighborhoods, schools, and hospitals, for example, is much more affected by decisions made by the state and local officials than by those who serve us up in Washington. And moreover, we all can exercise our responsibilities of leadership more effectively at the state and local level as compared to national levels because we are better informed as to the consequences the government decision makes decision making is. Um, we know if our neighbors hoods are safe, if our streets are paved. Um, if garbage is being picked up, if children have adequate textbooks and playgrounds and schooling, if hospitals care, we, if the care we receive at hospital helps us recover from illnesses far better than we know about how safe we are from terrorism or how likely we are going to experience a recession or if Social Security will be around uh, when we choose to retire. So it has a more direct effect on us on a day to day basis. Um, having a better understanding of a state and local government's legislators, executives, judiciaries, and budgetary process, um, you'll, be able, you'll be in a better position to appreciate why our town, our cities, our neighborhoods face these challenges or have advantages over others that they do. The big idea for this chapter is state and local government pass and enforce laws. They provide services and represent the interests of American citizens. They do so just like our federal government does. Our federal government does these same things. They pass and enforce laws, they provide services, and they represent the interests of American citizens, but on a smaller scale and in a more direct way. And at the end of this, at the end of studying this chapter, you should be able to answer these three essential questions. How do states function within the federal system? How are state governments organized? And how do they fund their programs? And what services and opportunities do they do the local governments provide for their citizens?